Hey guys, so we're back again with another reading and this one is going to be a fun one. We're going to find out all about your next boyfriend. So we're going to see what he's going to be like, his personality, his looks, his temperament, how you're going to meet him, how he's going to treat you, when he might be coming in, and all of the juicy details about your next boyfriend. So I'm really excited for this one. Of course, this one is probably going to be primarily for my viewers that are interested in dating men. So my straight women or maybe gay men but if you of course are a straight man or maybe a lesbian who wants to watch this anyway you can totally apply it to your situation and just maybe switch around the genders um, however it will, it will apply to you so anyway with all of that being said today we have a beautiful selection of crystals and card decks for you guys to choose from if one is already sticking out to you you can feel free to scroll down to the timestamps in the comments and the description and skip ahead to your pile. If it's your first pick a card reading, you want to go towards the one your energy is feeling called to and drawn to. So don't overthink it too much. Just go with the one that seems to be calling your name, calling your attention in, and then that one will have a special reading for you. So we're going to start off with pile number one. Then we have pile number two, number three, and finally number four. I also want to mention to you guys that I do have my Patreon up with a ton of additional readings I just posted one all about what you need to be aware of right now so kind of about what's going on around you and things you need to look out for or just be on guard about so it's a really juicy one and then we have some fun ones over there too we have ones about spirituality love career relocation all different kinds of topics and when you sign up you get access to over 35 of my additional readings and new ones go up all the time extended readings and individual pick a card readings and then we vote on new readings so it's a really fun community over there i hope you guys will join us the link for my patreon is going to be in my description and in my comments as well so come join the party and like i said you get access to all my readings over there so there's a lot to listen to and choose from and if you guys want a private one-on-one -on -one session with me and for me to pull cards specifically for a certain question you have or just to channel for your situation you can get that at my website briar rose tarot com and sign up for a half hour or full hour session with me so i think that's all i have to say guys if you need to pause rewind or take as much time as you need you can totally feel free to do that but we are going to go ahead and jump into pile one Hey pile one and welcome to your reading. So leading off the reading, we got empowerment, boundaries, transformation, and courage. So the first thing that's coming through is just how much this person really respects you. And I feel like for a lot of you guys in pile one, it's almost like you've been working on yourself for a really long time and you're not like desperate for a boyfriend or anything. And that energy is really coming through that this person kind of knows they have to come correct with you. Like I feel like first, the first thing that's coming through is a lot of awe that they have at you. Like kind of like, oh my God, I can't believe I got with this person and I really don't want to screw it up. I feel like you don't even realize, some of you guys already know this person and they have a crush on you, but they haven't wanted to approach you because you make them nervous and they see you as very empowered. They see you as possibly being quite financially empowered or or just empowered in your energy field but it feels like you when you're out and about or interacting with them like you're intimidating them a lot I feel like it's kind of like you walk into the room and all eyes turn to look at you or you just seem like someone who like again I'm getting some financial success coming through you might seem like someone who's very busy or someone who has a lot going on and they're kind of like how do I fit into this person's life but I do feel like when you guys start dating this person is going to treat you amazingly well because of that and it feels like in the past some of you guys have had relationships where you have been disrespected or someone didn't really prioritize you or treated you like an afterthought and that's going to change in this next relationship I do feel like once they work up the courage to ask you out they are making sure that they act really really right with you like they're not going to be showing up late to dates or you know uh forgetting to pull out your chair or not responding to your texts this person i feel like is going to bring out all the stops because there's this sense of like oh my god i can't believe i got them and i'm not gonna lie i feel like some of you guys in this relationship you're gonna be wearing the pants you guys are gonna be the ones who kind of call the shots in this a little bit i know of course it's not necessarily you don't want anyone to be like 
totally dominating the relationship and have it be super unbalanced but I do feel like this person really 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 is bringing their a-game with you and like it's they're happy to do whatever you want because honestly they think you guys look so beautiful that's the first thing that's coming through is this person I feel like a lot of you guys already know this person and they're super shy around you I feel like they might even like avoid eye contact or not want to talk to you or like if you were to be like hey to them they might be like uh, hi and then like run off so if you know someone in your life or someone is coming to mind who does that this might be your next boyfriend because I actually feel like deep down their feelings for you are really really strong they just don't really feel brave enough they would need a lot of courage to bring this up to you and it feels like you guys have had to transmute a lot you've come through this by kind of dealing with the bs in the past and so that's one of the reasons why you're not willing to tolerate it now you're not going to like put up with any BS in the relationship because you put, tolerated it in the past and you know that it's just not for you. You're not about that life anymore. And so you bring that energy of empowerment into your relationship where like you're happy to say what you want. You're probably happy to have those discussions. Like if they don't text you back, you're going to be like, okay, I'm done with this conversation for tonight. Then like, don't text me six hours later. You know what I mean? Kind of a thing. And I feel like this person, they are happy to kind of learn from it. And to, if they do make a mistake kind of apologize or really try to treat you right so we also got a bunch of tarot cards we got the sun so there's heavy leo energy coming in with the sun and the courage card coming out so this person might have a prominent sun in their chart or they might be a leo we also got ten of wands ace of swords seven of wands and the hermit I feel like some of this is your energy a little bit. You're kind of the hermit and this person could be as well. Um, but I feel like you're coming into this relationship very empowered. And I feel like this person is actually a lot of fun to be around. Once they loosen up and open up right now, I feel like they are very intimidated by you guys. I feel like they perceive that there is a lot of suitors that you have trying to talk to you like they just kind of feel you're a little bit outside of their league they kind of feel like they don't even have a chance but i feel like some of you guys do have if you haven't met this person yet i feel like when you do you're going to be interested and very drawn to them and it's almost like they can start getting the vibe and even asking themselves like do they wait a minute did they look at me did they talk to me did they flirt with me oh my god i can't believe this like i can't believe pile one in because they're so beautiful and they're so stunning and they seem to have so many things going on i can't believe that pile one is actually looking at me like that but maybe i do have a chance and i feel like it's almost like they have to build themselves up build up the courage they might be a bit of an introvert with that hermit card coming in. They might be someone who is not like totally the opposite of a player. And I feel like once you guys start dating, again, this person is coming through as so loyal to you. Like they would do whatever for you. They would take care of you. They're actually quite sensitive and sweet on the inside. Um, and I feel like this person yeah they it's almost like they would never want to do anything to upset you to hurt you to make you mad to make you angry at them they would do whatever it takes to make sure you're feeling like looked after and adored and honestly i feel like they really really see you as like the center of their universe i feel like your energy might be coming through as the sun although it could be theirs as well but i honestly feel like they kind of center a lot of themselves around you they look up towards you like you're the sun because all the planets rotate around the sun and when you enter their life it's like oh my god like what did i ever do to deserve this i'm so so lucky let me get some more cards to figure out more of this energy can you please tell me about the next person pile one is going to date their next boyfriend who is pile one's next boyfriend me talks repairing the mind body and spirit okay lay of the land ancestral wisdom and that came out reverse so this person might come from a different culture from you they might be like not the same ethnic background as you um they might be from like an actual different country or something or just have a different cultural group that they belong to or um just be like someone who might not exactly look like you and it doesn't have to be anything major but maybe if you have like blonde hair they have 
dark brown hair, or maybe it's a totally different race or totally different country and you speak different languages. But I do feel like there's some kind of unfamiliarity here and there's some intrigue and almost like I like the fact that there's some differences here because I feel like both of you guys have a mutual respect, but it's almost like you're not stepping on each other's toes. You know what I mean? Like I feel like they have their lane, they have their career and you have your career. And I feel like you guys do very different separate things. So there's never like this competition or like kind of like when you come home from work and you're stressed about something and you're venting. But I don't know if you've ever vented to someone who like is familiar with the same field and maybe instead of them just listening and being like, mm -hmm, they're like, oh, well, you should do this. We'll try that instead. Well, I, the same thing happened to me. Well, I think if you approached it like that, have you tried tr doing this? That happened. And then I tried that. And you're like, oh, my God, I just want to like vent. And I feel like that's the kind of thing that they're really good at is supporting you. And if you get upset or emotional, because honestly, pile one, I don't know what you guys have going on, but it feels like you're like booked and busy or you just have a lot in your life like your schedule feels packed and I feel like you guys kind of need some emotional support and it feels like this person is very happy to provide it to you like they kind of seem like they just stand back and look at you and think this person's amazing and they're happy to not so much like take a back seat but to kind of pamper you and make you feel better look we got me talks and maybe it's something as simple as them like pulling you a bubble bath, you know, or drawing you a bath at the end of the day and you come home and you're stressed and they're like, hey, I, you know, I set up your bath. I know you like to take your spiritual baths and like I laid out your crystals and lit some candles and anyway, the bath is ready. Like something like that where I feel like they really, really love to look after you. They're very considerate, very sweet, honestly, very loving energy that I'm picking up on coming from them. And I just feel like they're a big sweetheart. It's funny because I feel like this person comes through super shy at first, not really wanting to kind of show their face or not really wanting to be super forthright about their feelings. They're kind of hiding a little bit, even from me at first, but I can see that underneath that, they're the most loving, sweet, emotional person. I feel like they just kind of put up a little bit of a shell and they might be even standoffish at first. And you might be like, does this person even like me? Like, do they hate me? They're like not even talking to me. Um, and it's reminding me of the Taylor Swift song, gorgeous where she says you should take it as a compliment that I got drunk and made fun of the way you talk you should take it as a compliment that I'm talking to everyone here but you and like I feel like that's how this person is is like they're not gonna they're so nervous around you because she's saying that's because you're so gorgeous like I was so intimidated and I don't get intimidated but with you I was and I feel like that's how they feel about you first of all they find you physically incredibly stunning like wow, they're just coming through like, almost like, is this an angel? Is this like a painting come to life? How is this person real? And I feel like when things finally progress into you guys dating, it's almost like they can't believe it. You know, they, they're still somewhat in shock and very much like not really knowing even what to do or can't believe it, you know, like just, just very much not thinking that they could date someone like you. Let's get some more cards for pile one and who they're going, who their next boyfriend is going to be. So we got stranger curiosity and straddling worlds wandering between realms. I feel like when you guys first meet, there's a lot of that unconscious communication um, where, again, this person might be too shy to actually speak to you. But it's funny. I feel like they sit around strategizing a lot about actually getting to talk to you, like what they'll say with that ace of swords coming in. Like there's one day when they can't hold themselves back and then they just come up to you and start talking. And I feel like you don't even realize it because maybe at that point you're minding your business and you're like, oh, that they're never going to talk to me. It's fine, whatever. And that's when they finally are like, I got to do it. And it kind of comes out of the blue and it kind of seems even a little strange or might even seem awkward at first. Like you're like, what, you're talking to me, but you ignore me every, oh, oh yeah. So uh, anyway, and like, for a moment, you wouldn't even know what was going on. And I feel like you wouldn't even realize that this person like holds and remembers all your interactions in their head. They like have a list of all the times that you've glanced at them or all the times you like briefly ask them, you know, if they know if there's cough, still coffee left in the break room. Like, you know what I mean? Like whatever, however you know them, I feel like they 
just can't like they just have this catalog of all these times when you just talked to them, glanced at them, looked at them. And they honestly, like, it's just a matter of them working up the courage to approach you guys. I just heard three months. So this person, you might be meeting them in three months, or that might be when they are able to work up the courage to talk to you. Let's get some astro dice as well and see what the astro dice have to say. Spirit, can you give us some astro dice for pile one and then boyfriend so oh my gosh we got so much neptune and pisces which is what i was picking up on i was like this seems like neptune vibes like the kind of shy vibe um and then we also have um aquarius so this person really is very sweet and you guys do have a connection on the astral realm and that's what i was saying is i feel like at first there's a lot of unconscious communication it's not always where you're going to be like actually talking and exchanging words but i feel like you guys feel this chemistry connection this underlying connection underneath like the quick interactions and like saying hi to each other and like other people might be like well yeah they technically talked but it was just really fast but you guys are almost like exchanging body language and a vibe and if you do have someone you're thinking of this like in your life this is not just in your head this is definitely a real thing i just hope that they can work up the courage to actually ask you out because they do have free will in this um or someone that works up the courage but i feel like they w really really like you i almost wish there could be a small way for you to start a conversation because this person just seems so shy i don't know if they'll be able to do that but again once you're together i feel like they're so loyal to you and literally think you're like a goddess like they are obsessed they feel like they're like the luckiest person on the planet the luckiest man on the planet and really can't believe that like they get to be with you like I feel like they wake up in awe and I just saw the image of someone watching like a man watching his partner while she sleeps I know that sounds kind of creepy <laughs> after I said it, I'm like that sounds creepy but I feel like it's not I feel like that's a standard thing in a relationship you know you're like oh they're all docile and soft now and I feel like they just love to watch you while you sleep because they kind of still can't believe that like you guys are together and that they get to be with you um but they might have some Aquarius or Pisces placements. Let me spin this again to see if we get any other houses since we already have this strong Pisces energy. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Spirit's like, did I stutter? Let me, <laughs> let me reiterate 12th house. Okay. I feel like almost a little scolded whenever they do that, whenever they full, full, do the same exact placement. I'm like, okay, are you, are you guys mad at me that I asked twice? But anyway it's okay we'll read it so 12th house energy you know that's a really interesting house it is a house that rules over jails it can rule over drug addiction it can also rule over convents and monasteries and also it rules it really relates to spirituality um, and the astral plane and anything we do to kind of go into the astral plane and stuff um so you could meet this person while you guys are drinking i just you know what i just got the channel message that if you guys have had a drink in front of this person they find it really cute when you're a little boozy or like you had a drink and you seem kind of a little bit you know out of it like obviously hopefully not completely totally drunk but i feel like if you've had a drink and maybe you're like a little tipsy or maybe like stumble or maybe you like you know slur a word or something small like that or you just seem a little tipsy i feel like they think that's adorable like they just think like oh they're so cute when they do that and also i feel like they kind of like that because it's like okay i can approach them now but you might meet them this i know this is odd but with the 12th house coming through you might meet them <laughs> I don't want to say when you're at jail because that would be bad, but you might meet them when you're doing something like, I don't know, spending time in a convent or a monastery or even at like a place of higher learning like that because those were kind of the places of higher learning back in the day, even though that's technically the ninth house. So even at college or it might have some kind of relation to that or to drinking. So it could be like out at a club. Um, out at a place where you're indulging anything with that any spiritual place or place of learning in that sense as well um, 
I also feel like this person really, I just heard this so funny, so strange, but I feel like they like to feed you or they like to watch you eat. So you might have met them at a restaurant or meet them at a restaurant, but I feel like they love to see something about the way you eat is very elegant, your lips. Um, and maybe when you're in the relationship, they just love to take you out to eat and kind of like nourish you in that way. Um, so yeah, I know that's kind of maybe a little strange for some people, but that's what's coming through. Um, then 11th house Aquarius energy is also house of other people. I feel like a big thing that this person thinks about is not wanting to be rejected by you in front of everyone and really worrying about being made a fool of when they approach you. So there's some kind of a hang up that's going through of like, if I, if I ask them out in front of everyone, everyone's going to notice, everyone's going to know, everyone's going to see this. Something about, I don't know if you guys are in the same friend group or whatever, and maybe their friends have even already teased them about like, yeah, I keep seeing you look at pile one. Come on. You know, you have a crush on her. Um, it could also be someone you meet through a friend group with that Aquarius energy coming in but I feel like there's also this fear of their friends is a major thing that I'm getting with the Aquarius energy so I'm kind of wanting to save face and this is why I feel like they don't approach you at first and they kind of need some kind of a green flag so a way you guys can speed this energy up and have them ask you out earlier would be to make it very clear to them or I'm hearing also asking them to do something for you like if there's a way for you to ask them you know like oh can you help me with this if you're at school together like we were saying maybe you know ask them for help on a project or if you met them out at a nightclub maybe being like oh can you walk me to the front door or like can you come with me to uh get my coat from the coat room or I don't know I mean there's not that many like nightclubs with coat rooms I feel like but something you could ask them to help you with to like just get this ball rolling a little bit because I feel like they just like you so much and they're so uncertain about how they're going to come in and how they're going to make this happen. But I feel like they're going to be the most amazing boyfriend when they do come in. And truly this person, I feel like they just just dream about you, think about you all the time. That's also related to Neptune, the 12th house, Pisces energy is it is the dreaming energy. It is the imagination. And it's also how we connect to the divine in that way. So I truly feel like you guys with this card coming out as well. And then all this Pisces energy. And I literally almost had Pisces back like back when we were doing tarot. But then I was like, well, I don't know. We got the Leo. So I'm not sure. But I wish I'd said it because I do feel like you guys have this connection strong on the astral plane. And this person is giving off that Pisces gentleness to me where they might not want to come in hot and be aggressive to you and like put on a bunch of game but venus ex is exalted in pisces because it's very forgiving very loving it generally tends to see the best in their partner even when the partner doesn't deserve that and i feel like that's what this person is for you they're also an excellent support for you because i feel like a lot of you guys in pile one still have a lot of goals you want to achieve or a busy lifestyle you might have like a thriving career or just have a very busy schedule where you have a lot of obligations to meet and I feel like this person is so understanding of that and very caring and like doesn't hold you it against you or resent you but is actually really happy for you that you've had this success and like wants to show you off and is very prideful of you let's get some more final cards spirit can you give us final cards for pile one about their future boyfriend any more information we might need to know about this situation Six of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and that came out reverse. And I was going to say, I feel like this person, it might be a situation where you might make a little bit more money than them, to be honest, although it could be reverse. Um, but I feel like this person is very generous and, and, and they're not, they're not, yeah, you guys are like the Empress. Look. See, I'm telling you, they see you as so beautiful and so like powerful and so amazing and such a goddess. Wow. They really like just, you know, because the Empress is so beautiful. They see you as like, I can't even say just a goddess energy, just 
almost like a fertility idol or something like so sexy. First of all, they just see you as so sexy. They're like literally so scared to even talk to you, approach you. I feel like a lot of you guys already know this person, but if you haven't met them yet, I feel like you'll know when there's a guy who comes around that like literally will avoid eye contact with you and like not talk to you and be standoffish with you. And you're like, okay, do they hate me? But it's because they're in love with you. Like honestly, this person, I don't know if I would say in love, but I mean, they really like you so much. But I feel like there is a fear that maybe maybe you guys might be further along. This person could be younger than you as well, but they might not be as settled in their career yet. And they might have some fear that like you would be upset with that or that you would judge them or whatever. And like later on, the financials might change. I still feel like they would be really generous with you in the relationship and buy you whatever they could. Like if it was Valentine's Day and stuff, they wouldn't be like, hey, I don't have a gift. Sorry, I you make more money and that's it. You know, like they would still be super generous and probably, like I said, do so many little love acts for you like that might not cost as much money, like drawing you a bubble bath at the end of the day or like, you know, cooking you an amazing meal. But maybe, you know, they don't have exactly the same lifestyle or their career isn't as on point as yours is right now but I still feel like they like they're not it's not like that's why they're into you or anything and I feel like it's kind of like I'm gonna maybe being around you you might even inspire them more to like find a way to be better with their career or something and to level up in a certain way um, and to grow themselves because I feel like they just truly do want to go out of their way to impress you. And it's just a matter of them kind of maybe like catching up, but it's not that they're like a complacent energy that's just like, ooh, this person makes a lot of money and that's why I like them. I feel like they like you so much. And, you know, I feel like it's something where they're probably, both of you guys might, that might be a little awkward at first is figuring out sometimes when someone makes more money, especially I feel like when a girl makes more money than the guy just because of, you know, how the world is or, you know, because the masculine kind of gives and the feminine receives, but there's more than one way for you guys to receive from the masculine. And I feel like this person is more than happy to provide for you in a lot of ways and to give to you and to be super supportive to you. So honestly, I feel like both of you guys feel super happy in this relationship and very contented and I'm seeing people holding hands they just told me that for some of you guys holding hands is a big deal and like I don't know if you don't like to hold hands with everyone or you're just picky about who you hold hands with or it just feels very intimate to you but I feel like you're so happy to hold hands with them and there's this sweet companionate compa yeah companionate relationship it feels like you guys are just really good companions and friends so yeah wow I love this this energy it's so peaceful and sweet and warm and fuzzy it feels like a teddy bear or something I'm like this reading can just go on and on and on because it's just so beautiful to tune into so I love this for you pile one how lovely and beautiful I hope it resonated if you know who this person is in your life if there is a shy guy kind of lurking around avoiding eye contact let me know in the comments I'm very curious because I do feel like some of you guys already know this person and they are just so shy and you keep second guessing like do they have a crush on me do they not and if this if this is someone you already know then definitely let me know because I just feel like it's a matter of time before they finally get the courage to shoot their shot so let me know guys also make sure to hit the thumbs up button hit the like button and make sure to subscribe as well i would love to have you here at briar rose tarot and make sure to turn on notifications so you can find out as soon as i post and if you want to see more of my readings you can go ahead and head on over to my patreon i just posted a reading all about what you need to be aware of that's going on around you right now so kind of what you should look out for or be cautious about and then there's a ton of fun readings over there as well you'll get access to over 35 additional readings as soon as you sign up you get access to all of them and there's ones about love career spirituality relocation all different kinds of topics over 35 different totally fun readings serious readings all different kinds of readings and we vote on new readings as well so a lot of content over there to check out and i hope you guys will join our little party over at patreon the link for that is in my bio and in my description as well and if you guys want to get a one-on-one -on -one reading with me you can also get that at my website briarrosetarot.com to sign up for a half hour or full hour session and ask me a specific question or how we generally channel for you you get to decide 
decide how it goes. But yeah, if you want to get that, head on over to my website, briarrosetarot.com. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I am sending you so much love and light, and I will see you guys very soon in another reading. Take care, guys. Bye. Hey Pile 2, welcome to your reading. So for your pick of cards, you guys got passion and pleasure, choosing your path, embracing enthusiasm, and vast vistas. So what I'm getting for you guys is that you're going to meet this person when you're out and about enjoying your life and enjoying yourself. I'm seeing someone posted up at like a nice hotel bar or a nice upscale club or restaurant and it's almost like minding their business dressed nicely feeling themselves and not really looking for it just like out to enjoy themselves and I feel like that's when this person comes in this person feels like a little bit of a bon vivant themselves so someone who likes to have fun someone who can be a little bit of the life of the party this person might be really extroverted and always have something fun going on and like an active social life but I feel like when they come in you're living a really good life yourself as well like it doesn't feel like you're looking it doesn't feel like you feel desperate it feels like you're just like living your best life enjoying yourself you might even be traveling um or it, like meeting them on a trip somewhere but i feel like you're very um, your energy is very absorbed with like your own life and having fun and you're not coming off like oh i'm hoping they come in and where are they so i wouldn't expect you to meet them via like a matchmaker or you know searching on the dating apps or if you are it feels like you're just like uh this matchmaker contacted me you know what sure i guess i'll go on a date why not whatever it'll be a fun story you know what i mean like you're taking a very light-hearted energy and approach to this and this is when i feel like this person comes in and it's almost like they love to kind of prove you wrong you know i I, I know that's so funny, but I feel like they love to, maybe because you feel like you don't really need them, they're like, hmm, oh, this is going to be a fun challenge or something like that. And I'm going to like convince them that actually they do need me. And actually I do bring value to their life because they think their life is good now. Well, I'm going to prove to them that it can get even better. Um, and I feel like you guys have a lot of fun activities that you love doing together, like going out to eat. I feel like that's something both of you guys really like to do. I know like a lot of people like to do that but I feel like you guys in this pile you really love this person loves like nice restaurants or loves going out and having a good time going out to meet up with friends to go drink or to enjoy like they don't feel like a super serious energy to be honest to me they feel like they're very extroverted, very lighthearted. They love to have fun. They love to enjoy life. They are just more lighthearted. Like this card, savor your life. It's not just about working hard. And I feel like this person really understands that. That life isn't just meant to be lived like in your cubicle, never leaving. It feels like they have a really good balance and a knowledge of how to have fun. Let's get into some of the tarot. So we got the Hierophant reversed. We got the Eight of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the Emperor reversed and the judgment card. So it's really interesting that we got three out of five major arcana. I feel like this is your energy pile too. And so they might be a little unconventional with the Hierophant reverse. They might have like a few tattoos or just be a little bit different than what you think. Again, this person doesn't feel like they're in a kind of stuffy, like I'm just going to my office and I just have a nine to five and my life is really boring type energy. And the Hierophant reverse can definitely talk about someone being unconventional and not really fitting into you know the maybe common paradigm that most people fit into so maybe they might also make their money in an unconventional way because I do feel like this person feels financially successful to me they don't feel like they're broke um but you know maybe they could be and they're just not being realistic about their financial situation but to me it feels like they don't feel like they're in a bad financial place it feels like they are abundant financially in many ways. So I wouldn't think that this person would just be like lazing around all day. I feel like though they might be in a job that's a little bit unconventional. Like maybe they have a job in crypto or maybe they, um, I don't know, do make money off social media somehow or some kind of a career path where it feels like they have a lot of movement in their life. They might be traveling a lot or they might have a job that allows them to like socialize for their job or even doing something like 
high-end sales or real estate or something where there's a lot of socialization involved in the job. So like having a late lunch with a few glasses of Chardonnay, if you're like a real estate agent, isn't necessarily a bad thing, right? Because sometimes that will loosen your client up and then you go take them for showings and then they're ready to buy. So I'm not a real estate agent. I don't know how, you know, I don't know if they're so that's policy to take someone out and give them a couple of glasses of Chardonnay. I don't know, but I just feel like this person works in a field or a career path where they're really able to have more control over their schedule. And it might not look like that typical job where they're like clocking in and coming home at 6 p.m. every day and leaving at 8 p.m. every morning. So there's a little bit of unpredictability there. And I feel like that might take a little moment for it to adjust for you guys. At first you might be like, okay, like, uh, you know, what do you mean you're getting home from work and it's 11 p.m., you know, or like, what do you mean you're going away for the weekend and you're traveling to this foreign country? Like, and I feel like that kind of takes a moment for you to be like, okay, I guess this is just how his life is. But I feel like you adjust to it as well because when you come in and meet this person, you're gonna be in a place where you're already feeling really good. You're gonna be in a queen of cups energy. So you're gonna already have started prioritizing your feelings and your emotions. You're not gonna be necessarily in a workaholic mode. Although you probably, it feels like to be honest, both of you guys are kind of hustlers. We did get the eight of pentacles. So, Again, to me, I'm not getting the vibe that this person is like unemployed and has nothing going on. I just feel like they are a little unconventional in how they go about it. And I feel like with you as well, maybe your career might be a little more conventional or there might be a slight disconnect for some of that. Although some of you guys might fit in the same pile as what I'm hearing of, of an un unconventional career. And this is maybe how some of you guys meet. Um, so take what resonates. I'm not getting one only answer for this sector of the career of your reading. But I feel like whatever the case is, you guys are in a place where you're prioritizing your emotions and having a little bit more fun in life when they come in. So even if you have a traditional job, I feel like they would come in at a time when like you're on vacation and you're not as rigid. You're not having to be like, no, I can't stay out till 2 a.m. I have to be in at work in six hours. So no, that's not gonna work. Maybe you're on vacation that week. So you're like, yeah, let's go out till 2 a.m. And not really realizing that it's gonna be like that regularly for them. Or it might be that you do have that job and staying up till 2 a.m. is no big deal for you because you have the same kind of unpredictable schedule. But either way, when they come in, I feel like you're gonna be in a really good place and things are kind of lighthearted and easier in your life. And I feel like they're very attracted to that energy about you. I feel like they're very attracted to the fact that you're a little like you're not having to they don't really like boring, to be honest. This person likes a little bit more excitement. And I feel like you're a little bit more open with them. You laugh with them. I feel like you guys just laugh together, have a lot of great jokes, and just enjoy doing things that again, going out to a nice restaurant, going out to a nightclub, dancing late at night, or like visiting someplace you've never been to. Like it's kind of a wild, fun lifestyle or attitude that you guys share. I feel like both of you guys like to explore. You're very open-minded. The Emperor reversed how I'm interpreting it in this reading, in this context of this energy, is that this person isn't super rigid. Like I said, they're very kind of willing to see things outside of the realm because the emperor is kind of a figure of like things have got to be my way and sometimes with it being reversed sometimes that can be a little bit more like ramped up where they're very like demanding but in this context i feel like it's because they're very kind of open and free flowing and they're not super rigid like at all and so i feel like that's why it's reversed for you um i feel like a lot of you guys you're going to have so much fun. I know this is weird, but I feel like they love to feature you on their social media or they might have a great social media or they might, maybe there's some social media component. They might even find you through your social media or they like, or you do social media and they like that. They like your social media or they, maybe you meet, you exchange social media handles and they stare at that for a few weeks before you guys meet up again. But there's some connection here with social media and I feel like it's a positive one. Like I feel like you you guys have a similar vibe with that or they like showing you off on social media or something like that like to them your social media or whatever's going on with the social media is something they really enjoy let me get some of these cards as well for pile we got eye of the needle intentionality pile two who is pile two's next boyfriend who is pile two's next boyfriend fortune's wheel luck and right timing 
So yeah, you guys are going to be in the right place at the right time. Overflow. And that's what I'm saying is I wouldn't be surprised if this person's actually a little bit bougie and likes the nicer things, like would rather go out to the nice restaurant, not you know get fast food or something like that i do feel like they're a little bit health conscious and i also feel like this person will come in at a time when you're also being health conscious so maybe you've made some recent changes with your health or you pick up a fitness routine or you're uh trying to eat healthier or something like that i don't know but i feel like that's something that this person prioritizes because to me it feels like they would probably have a pretty muscular body shape i feel like they're pretty in shape possibly having like a, a low body fat percentage or something so you can really see the lines of their muscles um but it feels like that's something that this person kind of takes seriously that he would like definitely like like to keep his body in a certain way looking a certain way um and that might be something that possibly you have in common by the time you guys enter each other's lives but definitely on this person's end i feel like they're quite active and they have a lot of natural energy i feel like they're the kind of person that likes to wake up you know maybe not super early because i could see this person sleeping in late but like maybe when they do wake up they like to hit the gym right away or they like to go for a jog or you know um maybe they like to eat really clean or something like that but i feel like that might be a common interest you guys have in common by the time they come in you might so if you found yourself going through some health urges to change your health in some way that might be a sign that this person's on their way but i do feel like it's kind of like you're in the right place at the right time and i keep seeing some woman posted up at a bar by herself and then a guy like noticing her across the room and what i love about pile two's energy is i feel like he's not super shy and he's not super uncertain maybe because he seems kind of like i don't want to say cocky but a little confident and you know i personally don't mind that in a guy i know some people do mind cockiness but i wouldn't say it's necessarily cocky but i do feel like they're confident and i feel like they're capable of coming up and actually approaching you and asking you out they're not just gonna stand at the end of the bar staring at you trying to make eye contact hoping you come over to them like we've all probably been in that situation right and I feel like this person is happy to be the one to come up to approach you something you guys do is very different from what they do I feel like they kind of like to learn from you it's almost like you have a little bit of a calming effect on them where they can be a little bit wild or over the top or kind of like ah let's go do this or let's go to this party or let's rage and I feel like you have an energy that's a little bit quieter and a little bit more like calm and so I actually think they really enjoy that they really enjoy Enjoy the fact that like you're fun you can hang on one hand but there's also a part of you that will be like you know what I'm going to bed early and if they're like no babe stay come on it's gonna be really fun we're taking shots you're the type who will be like no, I'm going to go to bed. And you're just, I feel like you have some good boundaries up a little bit. Like you're fun, you're, you're exciting, you're witty. They do think you have a really good sense of humor and you can really make them laugh. And they enjoy the fact that you're a good conversationalist because I feel like with this person being an extrovert and a good conversationalist themselves, they're used to kind of like single-handedly running the conversation. And they really like the fact that you are not like dead weight in the conversation. Like you have a lot of interesting, fun things to say as well. Well, but at the same time, I feel like you also are very strong in your own boundaries with that queen of cups energy and you will like let them know if like no i'm just feeling tired no i want to go inside no, no i'm not mad at you but anyway i'll see you back in the hotel room i'm gonna go get some sleep and like it feels like there's a really good balance there where you're able to really respect your own needs and at the same time be very emotionally supportive to this person as well let's get some astro dice for pile Two. Spirit, can you give us some astrodice for Pile 2's next boyfriend? So we got Pisces. That came through strong for the last pile as well. Mercury and the 10th house. Wow. Okay. So 10th house is Capricorn energy. Mercury rules over Virgo and Gemini and Pisces. So, so far the elements, the signs we have are Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo, and Pisces. So they might be those placements themselves or have those placements prominent in their chart. Starting off with the 10th house. 10th house is career. It's also house of 10 of honors and achievements and public achievements that people notice. So again, I feel like this person, there's something about you that it's almost like you're a 
status symbol for them in some way. I don't know what this is. Well, too, I don't know if you guys just look really good or you carry yourselves really well or you have, again, a popping off social media or something, but I almost feel like they're really proud or like everyone in your friend group like respects you. But I feel like this person is really proud to be with you, to be seen with you. Like they, like I said, they're a little cocky and I feel like they feel like they can get a lot of different people or a lot of different girls or guys or whatever they're into. Um, and I feel like with you, it's kind of like, I don't know if you're going to get them so easily. I don't know. Pile two is bringing a lot to the table on their own on their own sake like pile two doesn't really need your attention as much and so i feel like they really like that i feel like they love to show you off something about what you do is really really exciting to them and they kind of can't get enough of it like your energy which i feel like it's funny because like i was saying you kind of have a really nice balance and it's almost like Pisces Capricorn kind of a balance of having some boundaries up and being like you might have Capricorn in your chart prominent, but I feel like you are good at being like, you know what, that was out of line or like putting boundaries down because that is Saturn um, and letting someone know and kind of maybe even checking someone a little bit while at the same time being very sweet and nurturing. And I feel like you can vacillate between that. Like when you need to like check someone, you're really good at doing that in a diplomatic but firm way. And at the same time, you're really great when it's time to like comfort someone when they're upset or be really nurturing in that Pisces way. So you have a really nice balance that I feel like this person kind of needs because it's almost like they need someone to put a little bit of boundaries up for them. You know what I mean? Because I feel like they're so fun, so charismatic so the life of the party that they could sometimes get in a vibe where like they're just convincing everyone to do everything and all their friends like listen to them and they can kind of get whatever they want so it's actually really good for them that sometimes you like might tell them no or you might be the only one in their life who can really be like hey like whatever like let's just go home early or I don't know what it is but I feel like you're really good at kind of gently like, I don't want to say putting them in their place, but that might be the kind of vibe. Um, gently putting down some boundaries for them. Again, conversation is going to be really on point. I feel like this person is quite charismatic and I feel like this person is very, um, good at conversating. They're good with their words. They might be in sales or something where they have to socialize a lot because I feel like they're that good at it that they could literally make a living off of it. You know, that phrase like could sell ice to, well, I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's bad to say now, but you could like, you could sell someone anything. Like this person would be great at being like a salesperson for literally whatever they are. I feel like have that natural charisma and that natural charm within them where they can absolutely like talk to anyone, get along with anyone, know how to handle themselves in really different situations. I feel like they have excellent manners. Um, so they're great if like you, they had to meet some fancy dignitary or like I'm seeing the queen of England. I feel like they would know how to handle themselves and probably have the queen of England like laughing and charm them, charm her. And that's what this person I feel like really excels in. And they love the fact that you pile too you have a lot of intelligence as well as being really attractive. And so it's like, I feel like they can come to you with work stress or with things that are going on. And like I said, you're not dead weight in the conversation. You're not just sitting there being like, mm -hmm. oh, cool. Oh, wow. You're going to be like contributing yourself and asking questions and probably making jokes too. So they really, really love how you guys talk. You might have prominent mercury in your chart pile too. So you could be a Gemini or a Virgo. I am definitely getting some Virgo vibes as well. Um, and you might, or you might have prominent mercury, like mercury conjunct your sun ascendant or in the first house. Um, or something like that. But I feel like you guys really carry yourselves as very well-spoken and they love the intelligence you bring to this because Mercury also has to do with intelligence. And then finally, Pisces. And Pisces, what's coming to my mind with this is the escapism quality of Pisces because Pisces, like all ancient Jupiter ruled placements are all about escape at different times. And I feel like you guys have this kind of far away vibe where you guys might like to like just pack up your things and travel to a foreign land or you might like to um you know visit somewhere totally off the map and like explore i feel like this person's very curious and you're curious as well and you kind of bring that out in each other you're both very encouraging and i feel like your motto as a couple would be like why not so like when everyone else is like well we can't do that or whatever you guys would be like well why not let's get last minute tickets let's go let's do it like 
there's just this optimism between you guys where I feel like you inspire each other to both be even better and you kind of just keep feeding it into each other. Whereas you might also be the same where you have an idea or something and you might tell it to your friend and your friend is like, oh, that, well, I don't know about that. That's not going to work. That's great. That's a crazy idea. Like <laughs> what? And then you tell it to this person, like your boyfriend, and he's just like super supportive. And he's like, that's awesome. Okay. I think this, yeah. And then you could try that. And you know, I can help you with the funding. Like, I feel like you just both inspire each other to try to put yourself out there to go for it. And there's so much optimism. And like I said, Jupiter, ancient ruler of Pisces, energy running through this. And that's Pisces energy as well. Pisces is quite optimistic, sometimes to a fault. And I feel like both of you guys give each other the benefit of the doubt. And again, a heavy emphasis because Pisces can also have to do with like drinking um, or any kind of mind altering substance. It relates to Pisces rules, is ruled by Neptune, 12th house Pisces. And so I feel like for you guys, you definitely might like to drink to together or go out and have like nice expensive meals or go out and party together but there is a like enjoyable like living life to the fullest and getting to experience every sensation kind of vibe coming through for you guys so let's get some more cards for pile two let me shuffle this deck really quick spirit can you please come through for pile two and tell us more about pile two's next boyfriend. Ooh, we got the ace of wands and that one just flew out. So this person, this your next boyfriend is very attracted to you. They find you very sexy. And part of this is your vibe where you guys sometimes I feel like, ooh, two cups. Oh my goodness. Okay. So it's heating up suddenly, but I feel like with the ace of wands, yeah, this one thing they find really sexy about you is this kind of boundaries thing. It's almost like sometimes, and I know this is weird, but like sometimes I feel like they like the fact that you're like, I don't want to say a teacher to them, but I feel like you kind of might scold them or be like, like telling them they need to like calm down in certain areas or whatever. And they kind of like those boundaries. They kind of love that fact that like they're, you're not as easily impressed as everyone else is. I feel like it makes you into like kind of a challenge for them and they just find it such a turn on. It's kind of like, I'm going to, I'm going to like prove to them. And that probably might extend to the bedroom. I don't want to get too into it because you know, it's YouTube and whatever. We want to keep it all very PG, but I feel like they like the fact that you are hard to impress and it kind of makes them want to impress you more. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And we got the two of cups, which is a really powerful soulmate energy so I actually feel like there's a lot you guys have in common possible past life connection coming through for you guys where you might have known each other in a past life and I almost feel like this dynamic might have existed in a different form um so you might have even been like I know this is weird but like their teacher in a past life or something because I feel like there's still this vibe of like they're kind of running around and you having to scold them. And I don't know why, but this just keeps coming through. Um, but it, it's almost like you might've had that, have difficulties in past lifetimes. And now you're coming through to get to enjoy each other in this life and have it be like just a romantic relationship. And um, because you can be different relationships to each other in past lifetimes and not every soulmate in every lifetime was like romantically related to each other. You know what I mean? Um, Sometimes that's the case, but sometimes it's not. And I feel like in past lifetimes, maybe you didn't get to really have a romantic relationship even. And now in this lifetime, it's like we get to enjoy, we get to have fun. And sometimes I feel like they can kind of bring this side out in you that's kind of mischievous. And you guys almost both feel like little kids like running around causing mischief together, you know? Um, so yeah, they bring that side to you out to make you enjoy things more as well. Brittany, please give us guidance about Pile his next boyfriend queen of pentacles king of pentacles reverse that's really interesting clarify those cards okay so with the empress clarifying it might be that you might make more money than them or something but again i'm not feeling that this person's financially unsuccessful was the king of pentacles supposed to be reverse spirit i'm hearing no that it's not supposed to be reversed and six of cups clarifying is a really positive card so i would say no i'm gonna flip it upright um and i also i'm gonna flip the three of wands upright as well but yeah i feel like you guys 
both have like a high-end kind of bougie lifestyle so they might come in again at a time when it feels like you're really thriving and i feel like with all these other cards and i'm gonna mention especially with the ace of pentacles reverse six of cups this person might be someone from your past who's coming back but i do feel like for a lot of you guys this could be someone brand new and it's almost like a really exciting fun new energy to, for you to explore um, especially if you've set your intention on like having a new love life, having a new boyfriend, closing out old karmic relationships. I feel like this is going to be new. If you're still attached to a certain ex and this sounds like them and you might be open to that person coming back, it could be an ex for some of you guys. But if you have set the intention of this being someone new, then it will be someone new. And again, travel is going to be a major theme in your relationship where I feel like you guys will really like to explore, enjoy, go different places. Even if you're just traveling like locally, like maybe you're going to a local restaurant or you're going to a restaurant that's nearby but it showcases a cuisine from a different country or something like that I feel like that's something that this exploratory learning about the world kind of vibe is going to be a very major theme for you guys so this just seems like such a fun relationship pile too I am really excited for you guys like oh these dates just sound like they're gonna be like exciting and fun and i'm like mm, maybe i can <laughs> i don't want to tag along on someone's date but it just sounds like you guys are going to be living it up having the time of your life so i love it for you guys pile two so let me know how it resonates in the comments if you think you know who this person is let me know or if this is the kind of relationship you would be open to if you'd like to find someone to travel have fun have more of a light-hearted relationship with then definitely let me know in the comments and make sure to give this reading a thumbs up hit the like button guys and make sure to subscribe i would absolutely love to have you here and if you guys want to find out as soon as i post a new reading make sure to turn those notifications on so you can be notified and watch it first and if you guys like how i read tarot then you should head on over to my patreon and sign up for access there i just posted a reading all about what is going on around you that you need to be aware of so what you need to kind of look out for be cautious of and keep your eye out for around you and so that's kind of a juicy one and of course there's also lots of fun readings over there when you sign up you get access to all of my prior readings over 35 additional readings all about love career spirituality relocation all different kinds of topics over 35 different topics over there and like i said you get access to all of them when you sign up and we post new ones all the time vote on new topics do extended readings all different kinds of things over there so i hope you will join our little party on patreon and check it out guys the link for that is gonna be in my description and in my comments as well and if you guys would like a one-on-one -on -one session with me you can also get that at my website briarrosetarot.com and ask a certain question you have or certain questions about whatever topic you would like or you can also just have me openly channel for you guys and see what comes through but you get to kind of say how the session goes so if you want to sign up for a half hour or full hour session head on over to my website briarrosetarot.com Thank you guys so much for watching. I am sending you guys so much love and light, and I will be back very soon for another reading. Take care, guys, and I will see you then. Bye. Hey, Pile 3, welcome to your reading. So for your Oracle cards, you guys got Covenant, Sacred Contract, Heart, Home, Compassion, and Straddling World, Wandering Between Realms. So this is going to be a very intense relationship for you guys. It might be a past life situation or a twin flame soulmate situation, but it feels like you guys are really, really drawn to each other. And Pile 3, you guys might have gone through some really difficult relationships in the past where you didn't feel valued or you didn't feel like the person understood you and I feel like the amazing thing about this relationship is this person truly truly understands where you're coming from it's almost like they see the best in you they see your best intentions they always give you the benefit of the doubt and I do feel like this is a very healing relationship for you just to feel understood on this deep soul level means so much to you to feel respected and cherished by them and what they're coming in and giving to you in the context of this relationship I do feel like it very much heals your heart on a very deep level but you guys probably have already met on the astral plane. So when you do meet, I feel like there's a little bit of this weird cognitive dissonance of like, how do I know this person? Or did I meet them before? Did we meet at a party or like, 
do we have mutual friends and I saw them on social media or like, how do I know them? Because I know I know them. And I feel like it is because you guys have spent past lifetimes together. But whenever that situation happens, there's usually this weird gap between meeting them and like the appropriate amount that you're able to talk to them is like this much. And then deep down in your heart and soul, you know, you know them that much. So it's kind of awkward because you're like, wait a minute, technically we're strangers. We just met, but I feel like I know them like a sibling or I feel like I know them inside and out I know them so well you know because like with your siblings you know all their likes dislikes whatever and I feel like for you guys there's a little bit of a gap period where you guys meet each other and it's kind of like a little standoff of like wait, how are we going to approach this? And if I approach them and let them know how I'm feeling, I'm going to look crazy and really weird. So let me just downplay it at first. But secretly, both of you guys can feel this intensity when you meet. You guys know that you feel drawn together like magnets. And like I said, on both sides, there's a feeling of like, am I going crazy? Why can't I stop thinking of this person? Like, maybe I should preemptively file a restraining order against myself because I seem like a stalker. I can't stop thinking about this person. But I do feel like it's on both sides like both of you guys just feel so drawn and feel like you know each other very deeply and again I feel like for a lot of you guys in pile three this is a healing moment just because it feels like in past relationships you guys were almost deliberately misunderstood or had people spin whatever your behavior is and act like it was really wrong or see the worst in you or try to make you feel bad about yourself and the different thing about this relationship is I feel like this person truly does see the best in you wants to see you thrive and succeed and so I feel like a lot of you guys who are already in a process of meditating or you have rituals with spirituality you might have already tapped into this person's energy and already know them on the astral plane I am seeing brown hair so this person might have brown hair and kind of paler skin um, but take it how it resonates for you but I do feel like this person it's almost like I'm hearing long time coming so I feel like you might have even tapped into their energy while meditating meditating like a long time ago and then been like oh maybe this person's not coming in like maybe they're just gone and that was just a weird hallucination I had one day but no I do feel like they are going to be coming in and when they do I feel like it's just going to be a very like I said jarring odd feeling from knowing this person from the astral plane but then you have to be like oh hi my name's this and have those early on like awkward greeting introductions okay so we also got lost in space meaning direction this didn't fit in to your initial group but I wanted to include it because I feel like this is possibly how this person might move the relationship into more of a romantic one or finally start the conversation with you he might be like hey like can you tell me directions to like the coffee shop or do you know a good coffee shop around here or like by the way the printer I can't get it to work can you help me figure it out or something and I feel like that's kind of like an icebreaker for you guys to finally like start talking and then once you guys start talking it's almost unstoppable like you guys are just so on the same page you're so um simpatico with so many things I also feel like you guys have a lot of weird things in common like if both of your if your parents got divorced when you were like 16 maybe this person's parents got divorced at around 16 too like maybe 15 16 17 but like same kind of age or maybe if this person is obsessed with a certain old TV show from the 1970s, you also love that TV show. And it's like that I said, kind of a weird homecoming feeling of like, what? Wait, how do you know about this show? This is so odd. And like, how do we have so much in common, but we grew up on different sides of the country, but we have the exact same type of parents or we have the exact type of friend group or we went to the exact same Catholic school and both got in trouble all the time with the nuns or something like that but I feel like you guys just have so much in common that like I said it's kind of odd and a little bit spooky which is often how it feels with one of these twin flame soulmate situations so let's get into some of the tarot so we got the chariot four of pentacles justice eight of swords 
two of swords and the empress so it definitely feels first of all going over the astrology we have cancer libra and then libra taurus so there's a heavy emphasis on libra here They're, they very well could be a libra or you might have libra placements but we also have taurus and we also have cancer coming through with the major arcana but i do feel like there is this energy of this relationship being a long time coming like i said we have the eight of swords two of swords so it's almost like they come in at a time when you guys aren't noticing or looking out for it or when you guys are just minding your business maybe you've even made a commitment of like you know what i'm doing a dating detox or i'm not dating for like a year or i'm never dating this kind of person again and then when they come in i feel like it kind of takes you by surprise because you're minding your own business you're not paying attention you're kind of in that eight of swords mode of just like you know not looking out for anything and just kind of focused on yourself for a moment and that's when this person comes in and really takes you by surprise and i actually feel like that's a good energy for you to be in because it's almost like if you saw this coming you would get scared and maybe freak out or maybe like sabotage it but because it just comes in in such a random way you're totally caught unawares and you can't do anything to sabotage it with the chariot they are going to come in strong and i do feel like things are going to go from zero to 60 really quick so they're probably going to meet you and just know that they definitely want to make things romantic and like I said they might even like play uh play it down at first and do the whole like can you help me fix the printer thing where they're not necessarily going to be like I want to profess my undying love to you the first time you meet but I feel like both of you guys feel that weird weird connection and both of you guys kind of question it at first and are kind of like wait am I going crazy? Is this, I, I see, sound like a weirdo. I can't stop thinking of this person. They probably don't want anything to do with me. Um, I'm obsessed with them, but I feel like you need to know that it is going to be on both sides. They do have excellent table manners. That's one thing. They have that Libran grace to them and elegance. And I feel like they're quite the charmer. They might even have dated around a lot or have a lot of people who have crushes on them because I feel like they are really diplomatic, really well-spoken, kind of soft spoken they might even be shy a little bit of an introvert at first but I feel like a lot of people would crush on them in the way that like you know how sometimes there's a shy person that maybe they don't really talk to everyone but everyone's curious about them everyone thinks they're really cool and it, it's almost like if they don't hang out with the group that's their choice you know everyone would love them to stay but they also like get used to this person being like no I'm just going home bye I'm not going to stay after work but everyone gets along with them and really likes them I feel like that's this person's energy and honestly I feel like that's also why people around you are kind of surprised that you guys are hanging out because they're almost like well that, that person they don't like anyone like yeah they have a lot of people who like them and they have a lot of people who have crushes on them but they're always super independent so it's really crazy that suddenly they're like obsessed with pile three and pile three and them are hanging out right away yeah right away all the time but I do feel like another thing is that people notice this connection between you and I notice this a lot with soulmates is like people can feel the almost electrical energy through the air between you guys so I do feel like at first when you when you might think you're kind of downplaying things and both of you guys are trying to play it cool everyone can see everyone can tell that you guys are like checking out each other across the room that you guys have noticed each other that you guys are always getting lunch together even if you're like no we're co-workers we're just getting to know each other everyone's like mm -hmm. they like each other we can tell and everyone kind of is interested in this relationship because I feel like it's that kind of love that everyone really wants that really deep intense love and acceptance um, honestly I wouldn't be surprised if this relationship could even lead to marriage for some of you guys if this could be a long-term thing there is a risk with the four of pentacles and with the eight of swords coming in that some of you guys could almost get overly attached in this relationship so if you have an attachment style like an anxious attachment style or if in the past in relationships you felt like really really clingy or been super afraid that maybe someone would leave you or you've had like a history of trauma with that this relationship could i'm not gonna lie bring that out a little bit just because i feel like you're so terrified of this person leaving you and there's this feeling of like if they leave me what am I going to do I'll be all alone I'm never going to have this kind of relationship again but not realizing that the universe is limitless in its abundance and the universe can always give us another amazing connection whenever we want it it can give us whatever we want and so if it's for you it will always be for you and if it's not for you it won't be for you so knowing that just go into this relationship with a sense of calm and relaxation not 
not being afraid that this person is going to leave you, not letting your anxiety ramp up because of it, because there is this risk that you guys could kind of be obsessed with each other. And it could be on their side as well, that they're obsessed with you and they cannot stand the idea of you leaving. And I feel like when you guys do actually link up, you're going to be like inseparable. You're going to be just joined at the hip, always together, always wanting to spend time. You're going to be each other's favorite person. And I could see you guys like sleeping in, in the mornings and not even wanting to like get up and leave the bed to like go get a drink of water because both of you guys are just like not even wanting to be five feet away from each other you're just that obsessed and into each other and so in love so honestly I feel like depending on what kind of attachment style you have maybe you have avoidant attachment and this sounds like a nightmare but I honestly feel like there's just this almost like addicted energy to each other. Like I just can't get enough of this person. And like I said, past relationships are coming up as well. Like I feel like this, and this is often what happens with a soulmate twin flame situation is it does bring up our traumas. And that's because we need to have our trauma sometimes brought up for the purpose of healing kind of brought into the light. So if you guys have been treated really badly in past relationships, there's an element of karma coming in and with you guys being like paid back for that with this beautiful relationship. Um, or if you have a history of like freaking out in a relationship and feeling very abandoned or whatever, those things just might be tested during the context of this relationship because of the intensity of your feelings and emotions for each other. So let's get some more cards. I am going to use this deck. Spirit, can you please give us guidance for pile three and what? their next boyfriend is going to be like what is pile three's next boyfriend going to be like that was way too many cards we just need one or two card spirit for pile three it's taking a long time to pull out a card which i feel like is a metaphor for this relationship it's been a long time coming and as i say that we got the altar priestess preparation prayer sacred ritual so this might have been something you were looking for waiting for it for a really long time and i feel like you guys have been getting ready for it kind of working on yourself doing a lot of shadow work and i feel like you're going to use some of that shadow work in this relationship because you guys are going to kind of test each other bring Bring this deep emotion that almost no one else could get out of each other out of you. Like I said, I, I feel like this person is honestly quite popular, quite well liked. People tend to really respect them and look up to them, but there's a sense about them that they generally are kind of the type to keep to themselves. They're not trying to talk to everyone or hang out with everyone. So when they meet you, I feel like everyone's kind of like weirded out by it they think it's a little bit strange like wait a minute ben always leaves the office at 5 p.m every single day but suddenly he's working until 7 p.m every day and saying he needs to go head into pile three's office and he's constantly going over to ask if she needs coffee so like what's going on this is a little odd he suddenly did a 180 with his work schedule um so I do feel like you guys bring this kind of intensity out in each other, like this passion, but sometimes it could be passion, like with soulmates, it's, it's that passion that can lead to like a really difficult argument, you know, where someone says too much because there's so much, uh, there's so much emotion there. You care so much about the person's opinion that maybe someone else could tell you like, yeah, I, I, you know, I hate those pants you wear. Like, yeah, they're just super colorful, but it's just too much for me. And you might be like, oh, okay, well, whatever. But if your soulmate says it to you, you're going to be like, you think I look bad in the pants? Oh my God. And it's going to just hit your heart so deep. So I do feel like you guys run the risk of sometimes getting into those kind of fatalistic um, arguments that soulmates can get into where there's so much intensity even over the slightest thing um, and sometimes if that's not addressed it can lead to like a breakup that you know you might regret afterwards but in the moment you just are saying something you regret or you're just being really impetuous and emotional so it's something to pay attention to and maybe try to moderate yourself in this relationship and realize that if you're feeling obsessed with someone that's a beautiful wonderful thing and not to run away from that but also maybe to practice moderation and reminding yourself that like i said the universe is limitless in abundance you will always have another option if a certain relationship doesn't work out and that whatever is meant for you is meant for you and will always be there for you whether it comes back around whether it's never goes away but whatever is for you will always be for you so with that being said don't worry about like 
don't let that anxiety ramp up in you to the point where like arguments happen over stupid stuff or the person's like, I'm going to go out to get a bagel. I'll be right back, babe. I'll be back in 10 minutes. And they come back in 20 minutes and you accuse them of cheating. You know what I mean? So it's that kind of a thing where when you care about someone that much, you love them that much, you feel that connected to them. And I do feel like also you guys might join lives. Um, honestly, this is like an intense boyfriend relationship. I feel like it it's more than just a boyfriend. Like it's something that really could escalate into something really big and possibly long term like I could see you guys moving into in together right away or after a few months or even getting married or engaged down the road um, or even like getting married right away like running off to Vegas together and just being like I know this is the person for me because of this instant connection but I feel like spirit is kind of urging a little bit of caution and just saying like don't stress about it and don't um, don't allow the intensity of this beautiful connection to spiral into like fear or panic about losing it because it's almost like whenever you have a diamond that's so beautiful or something you really value that can also lead you to fear and obsession with like what if someone steals it oh my god and I feel like this relationship is like a beautiful diamond that you have but it's gonna stress you out a little bit if you have to like carry it around all the time you know you're gonna be afraid someone's gonna like grab it from you or steal it and just know that like I feel like like I said, your reaction to this and you being in a place of calm will be able to steer how this relationship goes. Let's get some more cards for pile three. So we got the sacred union. Oh my gosh. Yes, that is perfect. And like I was saying, you guys have so many soulmate cards, so much soulmate energy between you guys. I love that it seems like there's an unspoken connection with you where you guys just could give each other a look, look in each other's eyes, like glance in the same direction as this person. And you guys kind of know what each other is thinking. You have this connection on the astral plane. I feel like sometimes you don't even need to be in the same room. You could be separated by like miles and miles or even an ocean, but you have this connection on on the astral plane like your guides are close probably your angels ancestors like they know each other they're kind of homies you know so I feel like you you know it's just it's almost like a family coming together when you guys finally meet in the physical because your guides and stuff I feel like they're already acquainted with each other on the astral realm um, and needless to say by the way with the empress this person just finds you so beautiful like I feel like it's very healing for you the way they see you because they just see you as so beautiful and so perfect it's almost like you could never do any wrong in their eyes um, no matter what, even if they did get mad at you about something or you guys had a blowout argument or something, like even if they did act mad or be like, you know, you're crazy or say something really rude, I feel like deep down they truly, truly do love you so much and just see the best in you and just anything you do, like they would even justify it to themselves or they would try to see the good in it. They would never like actually see you as bad or see the malice in you or try to make you feel bad about yourself. That would just never come into play with them. Let's get some astro dice for pile three about their future. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, wow. We have Libra coming through again. So what is this Libra energy? Like, I don't know if it's yours or if it's them. Okay. So we have Aries and then we have Libra. We have the first house, Libra, and then we have the nodes. And I do feel like this is definitely a past life, super faded connection. This is a connection that I feel like you know, what I'm hearing when you guys meet, it's almost like there's electricity in the air. Like you can feel this spark. And I feel like after you meet, like in the hours after you meet, there's this feeling of like, oh my God, I can't stop thinking of this person. I'm obsessed with them. And that lasts for days. And you're like, what, what is happening? This is so odd. And it's this very faded moment that I feel like your guides are almost like laughing on the other side being like, we set it all up. It's kind of like a surprise party or something that they set up. I feel like they're just so happy to actually get to see your reaction to it and not just to um, not just to be planning it and envisioning it from their side, but actually to see how you react and see what you guys say to each other or how you make eye contact. Like that's just so much fun for them. But I also feel like with that Libra energy coming in, there's a gentle energy on their side. And like I said, they might be coming through a little bit shy at first. They might be someone that 
is not necessarily going to be the loudest in the room or just run up to you and just approach you super strong and like spit a bunch of game to you. I feel like that's just not their vibe. They kind of carry themselves in a very gentle, respectable way. And so at first there might be like a slowness to this relationship starting or really getting off the bat just because I feel like you're so drawn to each other. So on one hand, the emotions start really early, but actually like before they ask you out or before they fully make the move, there might be an energy of you guys like talking, hanging out together a lot, the feelings developing, but you're like, do they even like me like that? Do they just see me as a friend? Like, yeah, we've gotten lunch together every day this week, but at the end they always like give me like a bro hug and then they just you know we just go our separate ways are they ever going to kiss me um but i feel like it's because they kind of don't want to mess this up too like i feel like in the past first of all they've had people throwing at them uh, throwing the, themselves at them they've had other women probably um, or other guys throwing themselves at them and so when they first come across you like I feel like first of all they're kind of like wait how do I do this usually I'm kind of the one being pursued or usually I don't have to put that much work in because everyone has a crush on me and everyone just likes me period they might have like a Libra Mars a lot of men who have that placement are sex symbols or have this kind of very alluring sexual quality to them or they might be like a Libra Sun Moon Ascendant of course um even a libra mercury because i feel like they're really like a gentle communicator like very diplomatic and stuff and so it's funny because i i don't know if you're the aries energy coming through where sometimes you can be a little brash or you can say what's on your mind and almost like this person i feel like they don't really know how to approach you like they are a little bit nervous they do feel the connection but i feel like both of you guys are afraid to kind of mess it up like no one wants to say the wrong thing or turn the other person off or make the other person run so both of you guys are kind of on your best behavior and then finally i feel like maybe they work up the courage to kiss you and then it's like it's on and you guys are finally able to explore the depth of this connection in the um, physical realm not just in the astral realm so let me get some astrological dice or excuse me some tarot as well um, and I also want to mention that with the first house coming in I do feel like they have come in after a period of you guys doing a lot of inner work on yourselves and when they come in you're kind of in this energy like I was saying earlier of you being okay with being alone or being like you know what I'm not looking I'm fine um with that four of pentacles you might have even been like you know i don't want to date anyone and i am not going to date and so like i'm just i'm not even open i'm just working on myself but you guys are so drawn together you guys almost have this obsession for each other so it's almost like i can't stay away from this person i just can't say no i wish i could i would try to but i cannot say no to them i am just so like into them i can't help myself so yeah let me get some tarot as well some more tarot for pile three spirit can you give us some tarot for pile three and pile three's next boyfriend so we got the ace of cups wow ace of swords love it so this is probably going to be a new relationship some of you guys might know this person from the past oh my god I love that you can see me live shuffling ace of pentacles I feel like for the vast majority of you guys this is going to be something new and with those aces a lot of them have to do also with like wishes coming true positive starts new good things so I feel like in a way if you guys have been spending a lot of time ruminating about past relationships or feeling really drawn to past relationships or thinking about them a lot this is going to be something brand new that kind of shakes you out of that energy of just reminiscing reminiscing and being in the past and kind of that moon energy of like focusing on what was what happened and making you live in the now there's an energy with this person that you the whole time you're kind of like i can't believe this like this is weird this is like a fairy tale like i know i said i wanted this but i didn't know i could actually manifest this and like suddenly i'm going out to dinner with my soulmate and we're having an amazing meal and he's so cute and like how did i wander into this reality how is this my reality and at first i feel like it takes you a minute to adjust but the beautiful thing about this is there's not as much 
time for you to just think pa back about your past traumas and everything because honestly I feel like this relationship is just so all-consuming for you that it takes up all your attention all your focus and you don't really have any room in your life to think about others and in fact when you think about others you might be like oh my god I can't believe I ever worried about that guy from my past or I can't believe I ever thought about that guy from that I was engaged to my old fiance like this is so much better and this is so amazing and this is exactly what I've been waiting for and this is just everything to me. So almost like those past relationships just truly start fading away. Let me get some more cards. Spirit, any other messages for Pile 3's future boyfriend, next boyfriend? Pile 3's next boyfriend. Okay, Page of Pentacles. So Page of Pentacles and then we got the Queen of Pentacles and that kind of came out on the side. I'm going to read it upright, but anything else? three of swords so yeah there's a lot of healing from heartbreak and with the page of pentacles um this person could be a younger earth sign energy so um usually pentacles energy is dark hair like i was saying at the beginning of the reading and it could be a taurus capricorn or a virgo um and with the queen of pentacles i honestly it came out on the side and so i'm kind of going to read it a little bit reverse because that's what I'm getting but I do feel like you might be surprised that you're able to go into a really gentle energy in this relationship in the past if you felt like you were in relationships and you were always having to do a lot of the work or stand on your own two feet or feeling very alone I feel like this relationship is going to be amazing because this person really wants to look after you take care of you and kind of step up to the plate and I feel like that's very healing for you just the feeling of like wow I can really open up to them and I can really trust them and I kind of can be like in a gentle empress energy now I don't have to be this queen of pentacles like really harsh not that queen of pentacles is harsh but you know she's very organized she's disciplined I don't really have to be in my organized disciplined energy it's almost like I can really relax a little bit with this person and let them take the wheel a little bit more but I feel like you guys love a lot of the same cultural activities you love going to like the same movies watching documentaries I feel like both of you guys are really smart and you probably love going to museums trying out cool new restaurants that kind of a thing and really just enjoy spending time time with each other though like literally you guys could be like posted up in a cafe like sharing a plate of pancakes and I feel like you could spend three hours there doing that until like the cafe owner kicks you out or something because you just lose track of time and even though the pancakes are long gone you're just staring in each other's eyes like conversation just flowing crazily fast and you guys just have so much in common I feel like you come from there's some similarity in your backgrounds or in your life stories where there's like this little imprint like I'm seeing a I know this is weird I'm seeing one of those hand impression things like if you've ever been to like the Hollywood Walk of Fame or whatever that thing is where the celebrities press their hands into the um, cement and leave a little handprint and then you like put your hand in it and you kind of like I've done this in can and then you try to find one that fits you and I feel like for you guys you have like the exact same handprint I don't know why they're showing me that but I just feel like you have so much in common you have the same kind of soul so once the ball actually starts rolling I feel like it just flows so easily and there's so much in common so much joy in you guys coming together and it's just a really beautiful beautiful connection so yeah I think that is what I have for you pile three I am so excited for you what a beautiful relationship this seems like and I can't wait to hear from you guys how this plays out but let me know how it resonates with you I would love to hear your thoughts if you have already seen this person on the astral plane while meditating or anything like that let me know in the comments I'm very curious so let me know also make sure to hit the thumbs up button hit the like um, and make sure to subscribe I would absolutely love to have you here and make sure to turn on notifications so you can find out as soon as I post and if you want to check out more of my readings then head on over to my patreon where I post all my additional readings I just posted one all about what you need to be aware of that's going on around you right now so that's a really juicy one and there's lots of fun ones as well we have love readings um, relocation readings career readings spirituality readings all different kinds of topics over 30 35 different topics over there and new ones go up all the time we also vote on new ones so definitely check that out guys I would love to have you over there on our patreon party at patreon at my patreon which is 
the link is in my description and in the comments as well. And if you guys would like a private one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can also get that at my website, briarrosetarot.com and get a half hour or full hour session with me and ask me whatever specific question you want to know or just have me openly channel for you. So you get to, to kind of decide how it goes. Um, but yeah, I would love to do a reading for you. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I am sending you so much love and light and I will be back very soon for another reading guys take care bye hey pile four welcome to your reading so for your oracle cards you guys got door to personal healing and happiness woman holding a heart and indecision reversed so i feel like first of all pile four i just want to mention that you guys it feels like you've been doing a lot of inner work on yourself and i feel like that is going to come out in this next relationship it's almost like you have been raising your standards is what i'm hearing and you're not willing to tolerate the bs anymore and honestly i feel like some of you guys have been living your best life or have been embracing the idea of living your best life and working towards that and so when this person comes in a lot of their traits have to do with this inner work you've been doing and the fact that i feel like you guys aren't willing to accept anything but the best so Oh, this person knows they have to come correct and I feel like they're willing to do that when they come in you have completed a cycle of healing and honestly you are like the best version of yourself so when they come in if you might have fallen for games or tricks or the BS before you're absolutely not doing that and I feel like they really know that they have to treat you right and honestly there's an emphasis on this relationship being a lot of fun and them wanting to sweep you off your feet and make you happy so I'm not sure whether they would want to take you out for a really nice dinner or like take you out to a really cool place and show you like take you on vacation somewhere or show you like a really cool thing like maybe you're you love Broadway plays and they want to take you out to Broadway and buy you tickets to like whatever the latest coolest show is or maybe you're into I don't know anthropology I just heard that in my mind and they want to take you to like a little archaeological trip to some place nearby where they found some old fossils or something. I don't know. But I just feel like they really want to do things that are fun for you. They're very attentive to you. They're very, uh, they kind of want to like take care of you and look after you. And I feel like the energy that's coming through so strong is you guys are totally okay with being alone. Like I feel like Pyle for you might even be my group where like you guys don't even like the love readings you usually watch for like the glow up readings or the career readings because like I feel like you guys are hustlers you're ambitious you're honestly on this very high vibe energy um and so maybe you were like well I guess I'll just watch it but I don't really care and I feel like because of that because you have that energy of like self-worth and self-empowerment you're going to attract relationships that mirror that back to you so I just want to say snaps for you on that um and I feel like this relationship is going to be with someone that does treat you like a queen so we also got speaking of that appreciation so you are going to be highly appreciated in this relationship and rest and rejuvenation and community so you might meet this person through your friend group they might be in the same friend group or it might be something where you're like out at the club with your friends and that's when this person comes in or you're out at the bar with your big group of friends and they see you um, I also feel like this relationship, there's a high emphasis on your time being respected, on you guys being treated, like I said, with self-worth, maybe even being pampered or really respected in that way. So I could see your future partner um, get buying you like a trip to the spa or something or um, giving you, you know, a pass for like a, a month of massages or something like that. Um, or yeah, signing you up for like paying for like you to go get a manicure and have like a bunch of different spa treatments all in one day. But I feel like they really like to see you at your best. They kind of enjoy spoiling you and just treating you and making you feel like your highest version of yourself. And I feel like this is something you guys might have tried to manifest or have tried to work on. And I feel like it is working. Like you are attracting a partner that truly this partner wants to give to you, wants to take care of you. This man wants to look after you and I wouldn't even be surprised if this person like I don't know might want to take you out on a shopping spree or take you out to a really nice restaurant and impress you in that way um, there is a vibe where like I said they want to kind of look after you and take care of you and just make you feel good let's get into some of the tarot so we got the knight of pentacles four of wands 
10 of cups, five of wands, 10 of swords and the seven of wands. So um, this relationship definitely could lead to marriage. We're having a bunch of different cards that can indicate that. But I feel like this person is ambitious. They might be someone who works a lot or spends a lot of time at the office with that Knight of Pentacles. So they might be someone who is definitely a hustler financially. And I feel like in a way they're drawn to you because they like showing you off. Like the fact that I feel like you guys take really good care of yourselves anyway is a plus to them. And that's why they're totally happy to give you like you know, a spa day on top of it, because I feel like you just naturally emanate that vibe of someone who takes care of yourself. I feel like you guys would already want to have like your nails, hair, skin on point, like you're already living life that way. And so they do perceive you as a little bit bougie. And I feel like they're that way themselves as well. They like to look after their health themselves. They like to probably wear cologne or, um, you know, make sure that like their hair is looking good or that they're wearing a nice suit um, but I feel like they want to have a partner on their arm that they can kind of show off and that I feel like is kind of a high achiever like them like a different version of a high achiever maybe you're not like doing mergers and acquisitions like they are um, but I feel like you guys achieve in your own way maybe in a more feminine energy way like maybe you you know, because there is an energy here of competition with the seven of wands. So it could be that both of you guys exist in kind of competitive spaces. Like it could be that they are like an investment banker or something. And you might not be in hustling with your career in that same way, but maybe you exist in a competitive friend group or you have an Instagram that's popping off like you're an Instagram model or you just look good enough to be an Instagram model or something like that, where I feel like you just command a lot of respect and, and honestly, a lot of people think you're quite beautiful and also I feel like the only um, downside to that is that sometimes people can be I feel competitive and kind of catty with you guys but I feel like this person doesn't mind that like they kind of accept expect that like they wouldn't be annoyed if some girl came up at a club and you know I don't know acted crazy to you, threw, threw a drink on you or something, because I feel like in their realm, they're used to com competition too. They're used to like fighting people maybe in the boardroom or like with their profession. So they're totally fine with you coming in and having a little competition around you too. I feel like that's what they would expect from someone of your caliber. But yeah, I feel like this person, like I said, they love to spoil you. You guys also love to have like nights in. I'm seeing this person like rub your feet. I don't know what this this is but it kind of fits along with the massage energy that I was picking up on or spa days and kind of resting and being pampered so maybe they like to literally pamper you as well even themselves giving you a foot massage or maybe they find your feet very attractive I don't know if you guys take really good care of your feet or you have really nice arches to your feet but I just feel like they they honestly think all of you like kind of goddess like they find you so beautiful so attractive your physical form is a huge plus to them like they just see it as really really gorgeous and I think they love to show you off to their friends as well like I feel like they would love to you know if there was like a bunch of Christmas parties towards the end of the year they would want you coming to like each one for their company or even maybe crashing a friend's Christmas party at their office just so they could show you off even more to like random people like I just feel like they love being seen with you they love having everyone know that you guys are together and I definitely feel like you guys aren't to have to worry when you get with them about them like not being interested or trying to play hard to get or trying to play it cool with you because I feel like they would be the type to call you back right away or to return your text or be really attentive and just make it clear their intentions. I don't feel like this person is trying to play a bunch of games or trying to like seem like they're not that interested. I feel like they know they have to come correct with you and they're really willing to do that. I also feel like this person wants to bring peace into your life. So they are not like trying to upset you or trying to start conflict over small things. Maybe you had that in the past with the five of ones, but I feel like for the most part, they honestly want to make you happy. And possibly you guys, like I said, could get married or move into a home together with that town of cups energy. There is a potential for some long-term stability together. 
I feel like it's kind of a question of whether you want that because I do feel like there might come a point where they might act a little out of pocket or start an argument about something stupid with the five of wands and it's almost like you might be that person that's like okay I'm leaving that's it we're breaking up and I feel like it's almost like a rude awakening for this guy where he's like oh my god I feel really bad that I did that and like he might apologize or whatever and it's up to you to decide whether you like that or whether you're okay with that um and I feel like really the power is in your hands for most of this relationship so let's get some of these cards as well spirit can you give us guidance about pile four's next boyfriend pile four's next boyfriend with pile four's next boyfriend so we got magician sword confidence in your magic sky dancers surrender i could definitely see you guys going out to dance together or going out to like upscale restaurants bars like i said i feel like this person loves to show you off loves your figure and shape and really loves to like be seen with you so they would love a place like a club or a place where you can kind of dance and show off your moves so show off your body a little bit because i feel like they just want everyone to know like if they could rent a billboard and announce it to the whole town that you're dating they probably would um, but if they can't do that, maybe they'll just take you out to the local club and make sure, you know, all their friends are there and then show you off that way. But I do feel like they love to dance with you, love to have fun with you, also love to travel with you. I'm seeing you guys travel to like kind of different tropical places. Um, and I feel like, yeah, they love your vibe when you're traveling because I feel like you're your best self when you're kind of being pampered and traveling and getting to explore. And so they love to show you off in that way. Wow. Okay, so let's get more cards for Pile 4. What about their next boyfriend? Tell me about their next boyfriend spirit. We got the wall, obstacles, mindful, group think, and fortunes, wheel, luck, and right timing. And also the further gate, bold step forward. So like I was saying with mindful groupthink, they really love the idea of everyone seeing you guys together. And I don't know if some of you guys have a platform already or you're like known in your friend group or everyone knows you in your city town that you're in or maybe you have social media somehow. But I feel like a lot of people are aware of you and this person loves that. Like they love being able to show you off. They love being able to brag. They love being able to be like, yeah, look at her instagram page and look at all these hot photos of her or yeah she is the girl that like uh she's friends with yeah she's friends with sarah and she's friends with jessica and blah 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 like they just want they love the fact that you have a little bit of a reputation of your own or that they can kind of um they can kind of point to that in some way. Like even if you aren't super social and extroverted, I feel like you have some kind of a reputation. People have noticed you, people are aware of you and you're seen as kind of like a get. Like I feel like a lot of people see dating you as kind of a flex or even, and I know this is kind of a weird term, but like a trophy or a trophy wife. Um, and I, not in like a demeaning way, but just I feel like, you know, someone has to bring their A-game to get with you and they perceive this as, like I said, a, a flex or an achievement on their part. Like, yes, I got them. It might be because your career is really on point for some of you guys because I feel like you're already in an energy when this person comes in of somewhat of abundance or you're doing well for yourself in some way, even if you're not like 100% you know, everything perfectly on point with your career yet, maybe, but I feel like you have some level of status in some arena when they come in. Either people know you or you have a lot of natural beauty or you are doing well financially and respected and kind of a little bit of a boss when they come in. But honestly, getting with you, I feel like this is why they're super excited to spoil you, to take care of you. They want to look after you is because they perceive you as being like very desirable to a lot of people, a a lot of people's eyes being on you i feel like this person can be a lot of fun i feel like first of all they love going out and like drinking with you or if you guys don't drink maybe it's something like i don't know smoking hookah or something um but i feel like they really love to indulge with you guys so there's a strong energy of indulgence around this relationship so it could even be something like if you guys are both serious about your fitness or maybe you don't like to like 
eat unhealthy very much, but there's an energy where like, I feel like they would love to like go out and order the hot fudge sundae with you and watch you eat every bite of it. Like, I feel like they just want to see you enjoying and kind of loosening up a little bit. So it could also be that relationship, like I said, but with a little bit of like alcohol, you know, I'm not saying anything bad about it, but maybe, you know, they love to go out and get some champagne and see you get a little tipsy and both of you guys enjoy that energy with each other is like I feel like you guys both love to indulge and so you know going out to a nice restaurant ordering maybe like the tasting menu and really really like leaning in and diving in and like having a good time I feel like is a major theme with this person honestly I feel like their energy is a lot of fun let's get some astro dice and see what astrological energy is coming up for this person Okay, so we got Scorpio, fourth house, and Mars. I might respin this though, just because a lot of them got blocked by the flowers. So I'm gonna interpret some of these because I'm feeling called to, but then I might respin it. I don't know. We'll see. But fourth house is Cancer, then we have Scorpio, and then we have Mars. So Mars rules Aries and the ancient ruler of Scorpio as well. So strong Scorpio energy, and that can definitely point, especially with Mars, to a lot of sexual attraction that this person has for you. I feel like they just find you so attractive, which I've mentioned a bunch of times, but that just keeps coming through. And I feel like, you know, that is a major thing for them with you is just how like sexy they find you. They find you so alluring, so attractive, very sexy. Being around you, being with you is a major turn on for them. And I feel like they just can't get enough of you. Like they're just always, uh, yeah, they always kind of want more from you. Even if you're like, well, we spent like the weekend together. Like, okay, I have to, you know, it's Monday and I have to go to my job. I feel like they would be like, no, like, come on, just, just a couple more days. Like just call off sick from work or something like, or if you guys took a week long vacation, to a beautiful destination and it was like you know saying goodbye to each other as you resume back into normal life I feel like they would still miss you be texting you be like oh I wish it had been a two-week vacation and you're like I just spent literally every single day with you and every single hour with you for the past seven days but they just can't get enough like they just still want more and more and more of you they just feel like they like, you know, they can't get enough of you. It's like a dying man who just wants to drink and chug as much water as he can. I feel like that's always the feeling when it comes to you. And I feel like you guys feel somehow sexually empowered. So maybe you're just sexually more in tune with yourself when they come in and you're just feeling yourself and you just feel very confident. Um, but I feel like it's like they, they're they very excited by that. Like they love the way I feel like you guys are so confident I feel like you guys just love whatever you have going on in your body. You love all of it. And that for them, I feel like they just, this is one of the reasons why they really kind of look up to you and see you as like this goddess-like figure. So with the fourth house, that can talk about family. And again, there is a long-term potential for this relationship. I feel like it's kind of up to you guys. I could see a situation in which someone in this group who is dating someone who might be lower vibrational, this fourth house, this fourth pile four person boyfriend might possibly for not all of them, I'm saying for some, if this is a lower vibrational version of this energy, they might pull a bait and switch or be kind of like a trickster with this. But I think for the vast, and I only say that because we got the five of wands and then the 10 of swords, which I, I didn't even talk about. So I want to talk about the 10 of swords, but I feel like with this person for the vast majority of them, their energy here, their intentions are super genuine. Um, but there may be some energy of some game players for some of you guys in pile four and so it's something to be aware of but I also feel like so many of you guys in pile four you have done the work and you feel very like valuing yourself you feel like you are not the kind of person who would get easily tricked so I have full faith in you guys that you would always pay attention to any red flags and if someone is faking or not coming in with genuine intentions that you would be able to sense it from spirit and I feel like a lot of you guys this is just going to be a great relationship relationship about being pampered and being looked after and the ten of swords can also talk about the energy of struggle and pain coming to an end so it's not necessarily always a negative card but if there was an energy where you guys might have gone through a bad breakup in the past that made you level up or something like this this could be the residual energy from that it also could be like I said something having to do with this relationship 
um, almost like stressing you out at times. But honestly, most of the cards are really positive. But I am going to pull some more tarot just to clarify and see. Clarify that Ten of Swords spirit. Let me shuffle first. But I want you to clarify the Ten of Swords spirit and anything else they need to be aware of when it comes to this relationship. Okay, Two of Pentacles reversed. Clarify Ten of Swords. Okay, so yeah, for some of you guys, there can be an energy of this person, you know, talking a big game or maybe even being like happy to provide for you, but maybe they don't have as much money as they're saying, or they come on really strong with the charm, but then later on they, you know, they're not being as charming. So be aware of that. Be aware that, you know, when someone is really for you, that energy will persist for a really long time. They're not just going to like shower you with gifts and attention and praise for a week and then dip or even a month like they're gonna have that energy consistent over the long term and again keep in mind these are group readings so you usually will fit into a category within the group but I feel like for most of you guys this is going to be someone who's really giving really loving really wants to look after you and take care of you and there is a message for all of you guys and I think for all women that you know if you guys look after your own bag make sure that you're financially taken care of in all situations and never give too much of your financial independence away that is always a power move and you will never regret making that choice ever 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 because looking after your own financial health is always the best possible thing you can do for long term your own power and strength and having your own bag that doesn't re rely on anyone else's opinions, what they have to say is a really beautiful thing. And that way, when this energy comes in of someone taking care of you or looking after you, that's great. And that can add value to your life, but you'll never be like stuck in a situation where you're like, oh my God, but if they change their mind, I'm going to be screwed. So I have to tolerate this, which I'm not saying that I'm, I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm just saying for all of us, I feel like, especially as women, you know, we have to pay attention to that and we have to make sure we're really looking after ourselves and kind of making our ancestors proud, all our women in like the past lines, you know, by making sure that we have a level of financial independence so that we can choose whether we stay, whether we go, we can choose what we put up with. And that's a decision, like I said, you'll never regret. So I would just say for everyone in this group, enjoy this relationship, enjoy this moment. And I do feel like for the vast majority of you guys, this person coming in is going to be really honest, does want to take care of you, does want to pamper you, look after you and be very like respectful of you. But for some of you guys, there's just an energy of like, be aware because there is sometimes shysters who will fake this energy and they don't really mean it. They don't really 100% um, intend to keep it up forever. Maybe they intend to keep it up for a certain amount of time to kind of pull you in. And then it's like, Ooh, let me shift up this energy. So it's a little bit easier for me. Um, so that's why also it's great to rely on your intuition and also to always have your bag, right? Just for yourself, for your own sake. But I feel like for the vast majority of you guys, like I said, this is just going to be a beautiful relationship with someone who does want to take care of you, who does want to look after you. And I feel like you guys are going to be able to explore, travel the world together and go to so many beautiful different places. I feel like this person just loves to see the look in your eyes when you like travel to a new destination or when they take you to a beautiful hotel room and seeing your eyes widen and seeing you like open a gift and be like oh being like oh my god I love it it's amazing um I feel like they definitely enjoy looking out for you and also they enjoy the finer things in life themselves which I think definitely includes you as well can you give me more details about pile fours next boyfriend spirit their next boyfriend five of swords Six of Cups, Queen of Swords, and the Tower. So we already kind of covered these energies coming through. So I'm not going to talk too much about them again. But with the Six of Cups being reversed, again, I feel like they love 
to really impress you. And I'm hearing that line from Taylor Swift where she says, and you tilt your head back laughing like a little kid. Um, so I feel like they love seeing that lighthearted energy for you that from you, that like joyful, youthful side to you. Um, they really love seeing you when you're like in your element, exploring something new, going somewhere new. Um, but spirit is also saying, like I said, you guys are super smart. I feel like you guys bring your own things to your, t to the table with this. Um, I think something they love about you is that you guys are quite funny and witty and really good conversationalists and really good charmers. And it's almost like you can direct this to anyone you want and have them probably in the palm of your hand. Speaking up i want to spin these one more time since we messed up the uh rolling of the dice last time oh and that happened again but anyway we got anyway we got the seventh house gemini and i'm going to spin it again the moon okay so fourth house coming through again and then we have gemini and then we have libra so like i said the conversation amazingly on point you guys i feel like can especially you you guys are really charismatic group for you guys i feel like could talk to absolutely anyone like nobody's a stranger you probably could talk to just a random stranger on the street for hours like you're great with your words you're great with conversation you're super charismatic i feel like your guys are just gassing you up a little bit right now they want to remind you of your amazing self-worth with that queen of swords and how smart you guys are as well and i feel like this person really loves and appreciates that about you like i feel like they see you as like a high status woman you know someone that like is like i said kind of a status symbol someone they need to bring their a game to deal with and then we have seventh house of relationships um and so there's a really beautiful energy here of them loving to spoil you love to take loving to take care of you loving to look after you and I feel like they love it when you kind of cuddle with them or you're nurturing back to them. They kind of need a little bit of that reassurance or you kind of doting on them back. So it's funny, they dote on you in some ways. Like I feel like they would take you out to the spa or they would take you out to a nice trip, but then you kind of return that energy by like talking them through their problems and that kind of a thing. So there's a very nice mutual reciprocity. <laughs> Uh, mutuality and reciprocity going on here where you guys both just return this energy in different kind of yin yang energies. So yeah, what a beautiful energy pile for. I'm excited for these amazing trips and for this fun lifestyle you guys are going to be living with this person. It sounds like a blast. Um, let me know how it resonates in the comments. Let me know if you have any thoughts about this or about um, some of the other energies that came through, I would really, really love to hear. I'm very curious pile four. So let me know what you think. Also make sure to hit the like button, give it a thumbs up if it resonated and make sure to subscribe. I would absolutely love to have you here in our little community and make sure to turn notifications on so you can find out as soon as I post. And if you like how I read tarot, you can head on over to my Patreon to get access to all my additional readings. And when you sign up, you will get access to all 35 existing readings about love, career, spirituality, relocation, and I just posted one all about what you need to be aware of that's going on around you. So that's a really juicy one. And then we have our fun ones. We have all different kinds of readings over there, over 35. So there's lots to choose from, guys. And so the link for that is going to be in my description and in my comments. I would love to see you over there at Patreon. And if you guys would like a private one-on-one -on -one session with me, you can also get that at my website, briarrosetarot.com to sign up for a half hour or a full hour session with me um, and ask me whatever questions you have, or you can also um, just have me openly channel for you guys. So you kind of get to decide how it goes when you get your reading. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And like I said, the link for that is briarrosetarot.com. A link is in my description as well. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sending you so much love and light. And I will see you guys very soon in another reading. So take care, guys.